was the summer of 1943, war in Japan had become scarily apparent. Fears were rising as the possibilities of air attacks on Tokyo made it necessary to face the possibilities of animals escaping from the zoo if an attack occurred. Shortages were widespread as Tokyo was showered with bombs. If the zoo was destroyed, the animals might accidentally be freed, so it was decided that the zoo animals would be killed. This was to ensure the safety of the people of Tokyo. If the animals were to escape, they could wreak havoc on the city. The governor sent the orders to newly appointed zoo director, Fukuda Saburo. Fukuda could only hang his head in sorrow. Fukuda attempted to save some of his animals by contacting zoos in surrounding cities in hopes of transferring some of the wild beasts. The idea was dismissed by the governor. His motivation was not to save the animals, but to rouse the people of Tokyo. On August 23rd, Fukuda began following his orders. Shooting was forbidden by the governor, thinking that it would disturb the people of the city. So the animals had to be poisoned or starved. In the first week, four bears and six big cats were poisoned. Another bear was poisoned, then stabbed, and an Asian bear that had not been fed for three days was strangled with a rope while sleeping. The second week, two leopards and a sun bear were poisoned. One polar bear was starved, and a second, who had not yet died of starvation, was strangled. An American bison was roped and killed by blows to the head and the head of a rattlesnake was pierced with heated wire. He didn't die until the next morning, 16 hours later. The third and fourth week, another American bison was beaten, and a leopard cub who had only been born in March was poisoned. In total, there were four, 24 killings. Of these, the most infamous were the three beloved elephants, Wainley, Tonky, and John. The zookeepers tried feeding them poisoned potatoes, but the elephants refused to eat them. They wouldn't drink the poisoned water, and their skin was too thick to inject the poison directly. They would have to be starved. Soon, only Tonki remained. She died four weeks later of hunger after repeated attempts to get food by showing off her tricks. In 1975, a memorial was erected for the animals of the Yuno Zoo. It shows director Fukuda grieving for the loss of these beautiful creatures. The slaughter of Yuno Zoo's animals illustrates the grief, fear, and sadness caused by war. War affects not only human beings, but also innocent and lovely animals that don't know, understand, or even care about war.